Hey guys, my name is Ryan and welcome to Overwatch Central. So this is part two of a video that I did yesterday. Uh, I was talking a lot about sort of the damage numbers that Anna, uh, uh, Anna, Anna, no, no, we're not talking about Anna, we're talking about Myra, um, a hero that a lot of people have a lot of confusion about and misconceptions about because Blizzard are very good at not revealing damage numbers and the healing numbers when it comes to that. So uh, that's all in a separate video. Um, this is more of a Q&A answer to some of your questions. I played about four to five hours on the first day. The first question is, John John, does she have a big butt? Um, it's all right. I, I wouldn't say it was big, but uh, uh, we'll, we'll try and go for more <laughs> serious questions. But uh, yeah, it, it's all right. Is she OP? I think the main concern that a lot of people have for her is that she's not OP enough. She's not high impact. And it certainly looks at it when you're watching it a lot that she feels kind of much like Sombra did when she was first launched, that she had a lot of um, opportunity and a lot of stuff that she could do, um, but like very little impact. I think the, the difference is that Sombra had EMP and Sombra's EMP was an ability that was clutch. It could really solve a lot of team fights and can win team fights herself um much like uh, in anna's kit she has a like um anti-heal with her biotic grenade um with doomfist he had like the one shot ability with a lot of his punches and stuff uh, so when it comes to impact there's no clutch plays that i don't think that um myra can particularly do she can do a good amount as she's very high sustain and very involved in a lot of fights and you will notice a good myra because she just won't die and her team won't die but she'll also be killing you a lot of the time but I certainly feel that she's not strong enough in a lot of situations. I think she's going to struggle to find viability straight away. Um, but she feels a lot better and less clunky than Arisa certainly did. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I think. I don't think the problem is that she's OP. Certainly from playing her and the impact that she had, it feels that she's not going to have as much of an impact than a Zen with certainly like Transcendence or something like that. In those clutch moments and just won't really be able to pull off as much maybe but is Myra an off healer like Zen Lucio or is she a core healer like Mercy and Anna that's from Dolan and um I think she's more on the lines of uh first of all I don't think Zen Lucio are off healers I think Zen it, it's, it's a tricky one to sort of go at. I've always been like Lucio and Mercy sort of fill the same role and Anna and Zen because you see the pros swap them out a lot I think what you are gonna see is maybe Myra taking and fighting for that slot between Lucio and Mercy more than Anna and Zen but I think that she is very much in between the two that Lucio and uh, Mercy are kind of the main healers that can do a lot of healing without having to dedicate too many resources and mechanical skill to it and I don't mean that in a, like a negative way I mean that in that Anna and Zen need to keep on top of what healing they can do whereas with Lucio and Mercy it's keeping with your team and making sure that you're uh, getting the healing that they get I think Myra finds a really nice balance between the two uh, between being able to get out some fairly straightforward healing with her orbs and just like left clicking and tracking on people but there is a little bit more mechanical skill when it comes to game sense and knowing there's opportunities where you should be using damage orbs instead of healing ones and when you should be being really aggressive to do damage and when you should be sort of sitting back and looking after your team the main difference between other supports as well is that she has very high mobility with her um, sort of her shift ability uh, she goes invulnerable, it lasts for 6 seconds, so the same amount of time as a Winston jump, so she can get around quite a lot, so I think the thing that's going to separate the sort of strength of that healer is how people use that to their advantage, but would she be contending? I think she's going to be fighting for everybody's spot, and I think it's hard to see at this point um, where she kind of falls into line, and whether she's a main healer or not, I'd say she's more of an off healer than anything, but the amount of healing that she could put out, say with somebody like Anna, and that goes on to my next question, which is... Um, how does she affect Anna from John John again? Big butts guy. Um, I think she's going to be paired up really well. Certainly when it comes to burst healing, as I said in the previous video, um, when it comes to using the orb and healing a lot of people around you, it does more burst healing than Lucio's Amp It Up, which is one of the biggest sort of AoE heals in the game. So she's certainly as scary for Lucio players who have been sort of, as of late, not been viable as much as certainly Mercy. Um, but like if you throw a biotic grenade down on that, you do a hell of a lot of burst healing. And... Also, I said in a previous video, I'd like to see a Nana boosted um, um, ultimate from Myra. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. But, um, like, just the amount of healing and damage that I can do and how much sustain that you would have. And I can't wait for the names of that ability, certainly. I, w I just want it to be the Kamehameha. Um, I remember saying that yesterday as well, that it'd just be a really cool name for the ability because it's just a, a strong blue beam, I suppose. Um, are, her, are her orbs on cooldown or does she have resource? That's from JP. Um, it's on cooldown. It's about 10 seconds. She has resource on a primary fire, which is a left and right clicks. And it's strange how it works, but it's quite unique in that you to get the most out of your healing, you need to do a little bit of damage. 
Um, how much does she play like Zenyatta since it kind of looks like each other's gameplay wise? I wouldn't say at all. Zenyatta's one of those heroes that can sit back and wants to be sat on his own trying to keep away from a lot of the stuff that's going on. Whereas I think that Myra is going to be very much involved in a lot of team fights. She needs to be up close to do a lot of healing and a little bit of damage as well. But I think it is more about skill shots with her orb and how she gets used out of that. So I wouldn't say that they play particularly similar in a lot of senses. Um, I think Zenyatta has a lot more impact. But for various different reasons, his ultimate I think is a lot better for supporting his team and looking after it whereas the channeled ultimate Myra it's very difficult to know how effective that's going to be and how much you can actually do with it in a lot of situations for example if you get stuck in a grav and they use a Genji Dragon Blade you can transcend this and protect your team whereas what do you do when you're Myra when you're ulting you just try and like look around at everybody like this um, it doesn't really sort of work so I think Zenya is just a lot better in those situations and there is obviously a little bit of crossover between doing a little bit of damage do a little bit of healing finding that balance same as Anna um, but otherwise she plays very differently and she's very like feet on the ground kind of thing <laughs> which is very different to Zen who's floating in the air of course. Is she reliable from Capster? Um, much more so than some healers. I think the skill sort of ceiling and the skill floor is a little bit more um, approachable for a lot of players. Certainly that those who play Lucy or Mercy. Um, for me especially I don't like picking up Anna because I'm not mechanically as good to sort of nail some of the, the shots especially from a longer distance. But if you have decent tracking if you play a lot of Zarya or you play a lot of May and Winston that kind of thing um, and have a good idea how to fight and engage in certain situations and have good positions up close much like a reap and a roadhog as well i think you will succeed on this it plays a lot different to a lot of supports that are in the game and that's what i mean where she fits that niche quite nicely she's going to be very close to the fight and a lot of the time and uh, i think she is pretty reliable a lot of the time but again because she hasn't got stuff like transcendence or something that's as clutch as like an anti-grenade with anna she suffers a little bit there as well that she hasn't got a oh shit button that she can change a fight like that it just doesn't really work like that. She's very consistent and just doesn't have those oh shit moments, I suppose. Do you think she will be mad? This is difficult. I think people are going to play regardless and that's not necessarily a bad thing. People have wanted to have a feeling of impact with supports and unfortunately, I don't think Myra quite cuts that. However, if it gets people playing supports more because there's a new hero to play in the support category, I think that's a huge boom for the game. It depends how Blizzard approach balancing it though and if they do something like they did with Doomfist, it's going to be kind of a disaster on their part. But I don't think that they will. I think she's in a really steady point and they can chip away at her and improve her or decrease her as time goes on when she's on the PTR. But she's certainly like, oh my god, she's too good or oh my god, she's not good enough. She's very consistent. And I think that's kind of, kind of part of a problem. Is she going to be meta? It's hard to say at this point. The pros might love her and might be able to pick her up in a certain composition. But certainly looking at how Dive meta favoured it is currently at the moment, maybe because she's very mobile so can work. Jessica Matthews asks, is the switch between healing damage similar to Mercy's gameplay? I, I think it's a lot more harder to gauge it. You need to sort of find a balance because Mercy is essentially when you're not doing any healing, you should be damage boosting. Whereas with Myra, to get the most out of your healing, you need to be constantly doing damage as well. So you need to plan ahead for a lot of team fights, make sure that you've got as much resource available as you possibly can. Um, so I don't think it plays very similarly. You just need to have a little bit more of uh, foresight of how the fight is going to go. So I think Mercy players are going to succeed a lot on her as well because they know what people they should be resing and how they should be approaching certain team fights and how to essentially not get killed at the start of one. So I think uh, Myra players are going to have a lot more in common with Mercy players for that reason, more than the fact that you switch from damage to healing a lot more. It's very similar to how old Anna used to work and maybe new Anna because her damage has been boosted where you can do a little bit of healing but you can also out a little bit more damage but there's a lot more um, emphasis on that for Myra because you have that resource that you know declines very quickly recharges very slowly unless you are doing damage and when it comes to healing yourself you need to do a bit of damage as well so it's very feast off famine I suppose but also Shana put is like is she another no aim trash hero um, she isn't hard on emphasis when it comes to aiming as much as like Anna and Zen for sure but it's more on game sense and positioning and you can get caught out quite a lot with Myra as well so uh, it's just finding the balance between that and I think May players are going to pick her up fairly quickly as well and certainly have that sort of transitional play style between the two because you're very flat footed on the ground you do have dash of course but you do work a little bit like May in those situations I guess too. Dante Bryan asks does her damage beam gain more power over time similar to Symmetra or does it do a constant DPS? It does a constant DPS. I was curious about this as well but it's not as if the longer that you lock onto a target the more damage you do it stays pretty consistent. Can Diva defense matrix her bouncing ball that came from Adam Whitmer? Uh, she can. That's a projectile so she can't eat it uh, but she can't eat anything else as far as I'm aware. No she can. She can't eat the ultimate. She can't eat the left or right click because they're not projectiles. Um, so yeah she can eat the orbs still 
Angel and Genji can reflect them as well. I also asked questions on my own personal Twitter. Um, I just wanted to highlight it because I said like, oh, I'm playing Myro now, let me know if you have any questions. And Seb Barton, which is Numlocked, uh, pro player, was wondering why I wasn't watching Team UK at the World Cup. So um, I feel a bit bad about that, but um, I didn't turn up, but it certainly sounds like Team UK didn't turn up either. Rosella Sanders asked me, how do you like her? Um, I like her quite a lot. I, I fix my playstyle quite well, I guess, and um, she feels very impact and stuff. Um, also, Wasprit, good friend of ours, uh, asked about skins. Uh, there was a few concept skins given out in the like What's Next panel, but that will be... I don't even think that's going to be on the PTI anytime soon. That's going to start coming to the game later on, so um, no real skins, I suppose. Um, Sarah asked, is the butt nice? A lot of people are talking about her butt, which is quite interesting. Exactly how Irish is she? I didn't know she was Irish until somebody pointed it out to me. Um, but certainly watching the origin story, you get a glimpse of the accent, but it's not a very strong one, I suppose. When will we see her live slash on the PTR with low fat ham? Uh, going from sort of previous experience, we should see Myra on the PTR on Tuesday. So very close. Uh, but we are going to see uh, Blizzardy Land or Blizzard World, as they've actually called it. Uh, around the time that Oasis came out last year, so probably on the PTR early December, out in the live game 2018, like January, like two weeks into January, so. Hannah Nichols asked the heal orb thing she shoots at, does that stay suspended and heal around for a certain time, or does the damage orb track enemies? So um, it doesn't track enemies as such, it just slows down to a point where if you fire it and there's no target there, it will go fairly quickly or bounce off walls like crazy or bounce off the floor and go into the air, which is very annoying that that happens. But either when it, the DPS one latches onto an enemy or whether the healing one latches onto somebody that actually needs healing, it will bounce around and then just slow down and it feels really good in our senses and there's nothing better than you're going to run into a choke and you have a Lucio and you have all of these heroes that want to get in close and you just fire a damage orb and you see it doing a little bit of sort of ticking damage away and you just jump on everyone. Or the same with healing orb where you just see that your team are taking a lot of damage and you're like far away from the fight so you fire the orb, it goes fairly quickly and it latches onto them and then you can just uh, left click them to your heart's content and stuff like that. Um, I had to play the game and I was playing on Myra as well and it's a really... Um, it feels really good because you start using her orbs and a left click and a right click and you use all of your abilities essentially in like a really good play. So much like the old Doomfist, it felt really fluid, really dynamic and I hope that they can keep that aspect to Myra because I think that's the thing that makes her really fun to play. Uh, impact and stuff, it's up in the air but if she feels good to play, that's the main thing and I think Blizzard can really work with that and make sure that that stays pretty strong. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you do have any more questions, we'll be sure to answer them in the comments below so do let us know there. And... Thank you very much for everything. Anyway, it's been a great year. Sort of being able to go to BlizzCon has been pretty good. This will probably be one of the latter videos. We do have a special video going out as well with BlizzCon. So um, do look out for that one. And until next time, take care. We'll see you then.